welcome back to my channel. Today I'm featuring another new launch from the drugstore in a swatch party video. These are the Wet n Wild Color Iconic palettes. I actually have the um, Comfort Zone palette in the old formula, but these are repackaged and reformulated. I think these are two new ones, but they did repackage the Comfort Zone palette as well. I don't ever really use that one very often, so I didn't pick that one up again because I thought it would be pointless. But these two did speak to me on a spiritual level, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch these for you guys in this video. Now guys, as always, if you are new to my channel, I suggest that you go ahead and subscribe down below so you can be part of the Karen Harris makeup family. I do upload every other day so you do get quite a bit of content from me and usually I like to do swatch parties because I have the hardest time finding swatches on my skin tone so I like to do swatch parties really as soon as I get palettes because in case you're interested in buying the palette yourself this will at least give you some kind of reference for my skin tone. I actually have all of the foundations that I wear and what shades in my description box and I do usually have a ton of information in my description box so definitely check the description box in case you're wondering what my skin tone is depending on what foundation in case we have similar skin tones. I also have a giveaway going on. All that information is in the description box. Anyway, I don't want to talk too much. Let's get into the swatches. Okay, so this is the Color Iconic Rosé in the Air palette. And I actually featured these palettes in a Get Ready With Me video. I didn't actually end up using Rosé in the Air in that video. But just looking at this palette, it reminds me so much of the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I think this might be a dupe. Like, I don't usually do dupe videos, but I feel like if you look into it, I feel like a lot of the colors are very similar. So here are the first four shades swatched. Let me just go ahead and swipe them on. I actually really like the matte shadows from the other palette. Like I said, I haven't worn this on my eyeballs yet, so... I can't say that I love the shimmers or the mattes in this palette. Just one of the swatches. It is pretty good, but that uh, other palette that I'm going to swatch next was so beautiful. Like the mattes, I mean, this is a $5 palette. Like, look at how well the mattes are swatching. It's like butter. I'm really impressed. I can't wait to play with this. I might have to do like a little comparison video. So you guys let me know if you want to see like an eye look and maybe I can use the two palettes on each eye. I think that would be really fun. And then there's two beautiful, you know, burned orange shades. So here are the swatches from Rosé in the Air from Wet n Wild. Again, this is a $5 palette. And I got these on the Wet n Wild website. So that's one of them. And then I'm going to swatch the, what is this? Not a basic peach. This one I actually featured in a Get Ready With Me video. I'll go ahead and link that up in the cards for you guys if you're interested in seeing what that eye look ended up looking like. My eyeballs. I didn't use all the shades, but I, I did try to use as many as I could. So these are the first five. So let me swatch. I swear, I think the mattes are just so much better than the shimmers. Like that blue, I did use that on my waterline. You could kind of see it, but it wasn't like anything like groundbreaking, you know? And I did foil one of the shadows on my eyelid as well. So you can definitely get a decent eye look out of these, but uh, it's definitely not gonna compete with a high-end eyeshadow palette really. But for five bucks, this is definitely a good staple from the drugstore and I mean the mattes are wonderful and I did use this like orange shade and it has like a dual chrome flip to it as well so super pretty so here are the swatches from the not a basic peach let me just show you the palette so you can see it next to it so $5, guys. I don't know. You decide. I think that's a pretty awesome deal. And here are the swatches again in case anybody missed them. Go ahead and pause this video and look at them real close if you need to. But yeah, I'm glad I picked them up. I didn't buy them all. There's four of them. 
that they came out with so I would recommend checking them out if you're on a budget and uh, the only thing is they might be hard to find but I ordered them on the Wet n Wild website when they were doing free shipping and I got them no problem so yeah that's everything I wanted to show you guys I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for spending time with me let me know if you have any questions comments brilliant insights down below and uh, we'll see you on the next one bye guys